Hi friends, welcome back to Dive Vibe, and today we're going to talk about 10 gifts for the scuba diver in your life. Or maybe yourself. <laughs> Before we get started, don't forget that you can find the links to all these products in the description below. All right, so we all know that gift giving can be tricky, and it can be particularly difficult when you're dealing with a scuba diver that is extremely opinionated about the gear they dive. Hey babe, is it fun to buy me Christmas presents? No! But stay tuned, and we'll get through this together. All right, so I'm gonna break this up into five different categories. Under 50, under 100, under 300, 500, and under 1,000. So hopefully there's a gift that fits your budget in here. All right, to start off, let's look at two gifts under $50. The first one being the Easy Cut Trilobite. I cannot recommend these line cutters enough. They do an extremely good job and can get through extremely thick rope for their size. They're small, easy to deal with, easy to stow, easy to access, and they have a few different mounting options. This one right here wraps around the shoulder strap of your BCD. These mostly will work with back plate and wing or side mount BCDs. And I would recommend, while these are excellent, I would recommend putting a zip tie or a Snoopy loop or a piece of tape or something around here because I will say that while this is my favorite option, it does tend to be the most likely to fall off your BCD because of this Velcro back here. I've seen that happen a couple times. At $25.95, it's a little bit pricey for a razor blade and a bit of plastic, but hey, they work really well and it's a great solution. I trust them. For the next gift under $50, I have to recommend Into the Planet, My Life as a Cave Diver by Jill Heinrich. Jill is a prolific explorer. She's been on many expeditions. She has a lot of stories to tell. I had the privilege of meeting her when I was cave diving in Florida and she was just so nice. Just a great person all around. But check out her book. She has a way of talking about advanced diving in a very approachable and interesting way. All right, moving on to under $100. So the first thing I'd like to talk about in this price range are backup lights. Backup lights are one of the only things under $100 that a diver is going to find very useful. If you have a newer diver, then getting them a backup light that can act as their first primary is a great gift. When they move into a bigger light, that light can just move into a backup role and it's still extremely useful to them. So the one that I would suggest in this price range is the Orca Torch D530. It works great as a primary as well as a backup light. It's a 1300 lumen light with a tight eight degree beam and it is well reviewed. Under $100 tends to be kind of an awkward price range for divers. So one thing that I would recommend is a $100 gift card to their local dive shop. They could pick up a backup light, they could add that 100 to whatever purchase they'd already been thinking about making, or they could pick up something as simple as a set of spring straps. If you know somebody that is a diving open heel fins without spring straps, then that's a perfect Christmas present. Unfortunately, they do come in different sizes and that size does depend on the fin and what type of boot they're wearing. So getting them a gift card to buy a set of spring straps can be the better approach. That way they can go into their local dive shop and get everything fitted and worked out the first time. Or find a dive shop that'll give you their best guess and allow that diver to return them and exchange them for the proper size. All right, under 300, this is where things start to get really fun. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend is a nice primary dive light. The Sola Dive 1200 springs to mind. This is an extremely versatile light. It is completely sealed and charged externally. So what that means is it's very unlikely to flood, which is a thing that happens to dive lights with some frequency. Right now, the Sola Dive 1200 is about $210. So it's a great item for that kind of mid-range budget. It has a 1200 lumen, 60 degree floodlight, which is great for recording video. It also has a 500 lumen, 12 degree spot, which makes it great for night dives, murky water, and any other application where a longer throw is desirable. And with a depth rating of 100 meters, just about every diver will find this light useful. All right, you knew it was coming. If we're talking about gifts for divers, we have to talk about the GoPro. And right now, at the time of this recording, the GoPro Hero 8 is only $299 on Amazon, and you can get a refurbished one for $250. That is a steal. I use the Hero 8 all the time and it is a fantastic camera with great image stabilization and 4K recording. And let's not forget the incredible white balance that these things are capable of. I have found that I don't even need a red filter with these cameras anymore. The white balance is so good underwater. They're great because you can set it and forget it and just dive. And when you want to film something, it's there and it's ready to go. And it's not some huge camera that you have to carry around. All right, under 500, now we're talking. 
since we did just talk about the Hero 8, at $399 at the time of recording, the Hero 9 is a no-brainer. This is a fantastic camera with some crazy advancements. So at the time of this recording, the Hero 9 is on sale on Amazon for $399. That is absolutely insane when you consider that this thing can shoot 5K. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, what the heck am I going to do with 5K footage? I'll tell you crop down to 4K and stabilize the image for really smooth shots. It's a great way to get some cinematic looking footage on a budget. In addition to that, it also has a front facing screen. So if you're using this thing in selfie mode, you can actually see your shot. The next gift I'd like to talk about is the Shearwater Peregrine. This computer is absolutely dominating the entry level dive computer market in terms of features. It has air and nitrox, decompression, gas switching, and it has a beautiful screen that can be seen in any light. This computer does not have Trimix or rebreather functionality, but at $450, you really can't expect those features. All right, moving on to our final category, under $1,000. This is the big leagues. I know, I know, I've already mentioned Shearwater, but I just cannot make this list without adding the Shearwater Perdix AI. This is a fantastic full featured dive computer. About the only thing it doesn't have is a Fisher port for your rebreather diving. But the Perdix does offer CCR functionality with a fixed manually switchable set point. I'm not gonna go into review of the Perdix. There's a bunch of other videos that detail the features of this thing a lot better than I have time to right now. But suffice to say, it is the best computer on the market if you're not looking for a Fisher port or a wristwatch form factor. If you want a wristwatch, go with the Shearwater Taric, but you're gonna pay for it. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive. If you need a Fisher port, then the Shearwater Petrol 2 and the Nerd 2 are there for you. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. What is the ultimate Christmas gift for a diver? It might surprise you that I don't personally feel all that strongly about spending tons and tons of money on a regulator. Some people like to do it, but me personally, I need a lot of regulators. So I want something reliable with good performance. But there is a new regulator this year that stands out like an exclamation point, and that is the Scuba Pro Mark 25 D420. I had the privilege of taking the repair course on this regulator, and I can tell you that this thing is built with high quality parts and breathes like an absolute dream. It's a throwback to some of Scuba Pro's older regulators, and it looks awesome. I mean, who wouldn't want a reg that makes you look like Darth Vader when you're diving? And then there's the name, the D420. I don't know why marketing departments don't do more fun stuff like this, but calling the reg the D420 is absolutely hilarious. The only thing they could do to make it better is call the first stage the Mark 69. Now, there's a lot of personal preference when it comes to a regulator, but one thing that I will say is that if you purchase someone a regulator, it's a good idea to go DIN and just give them a yoke converter along with it because then they can use that regulator on a yoke tank or a DEN tank. All right, friends, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you still haven't figured out a gift for that diver in your life, then maybe consider them getting one of my shirts. Link in the description. Pick them up. They're awesome. Let people know you like beer. Let people know you like diving. It's a win-win. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas for great Christmas gifts for divers. Or leave any questions you may have, and I'll do my best to answer them before it's too late to get something shipped. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the water.